Hello, I'm Dr. Matthew Sim. How are you feeling today? I hope you're feeling fantastic. Okay, today I'd like to, if you're not feeling fantastic, uh, suggest you plan for a trip. You may want to go around walking in uh, Myanmar or in the British call it Burma, uh, especially in Yangon, Rangoon. I stayed for about two years in the Rangoon. I was stationed there. Um, and I wrote a book called Myanmar on my mind. You can Google my name and you, you'll find that uh, I'm not allowed to go into Myanmar or Burma because of the book. Go figure. Okay, today I'd like to talk about capital asset pricing model. Um, according to Investopedia, uh, basically this CAPM, this capital asset pricing model, is uh, um, the general idea is that investors need to compens be compensated in two ways. Uh, one is through time, value of the money, and the other one is risk. So the return of a particular asset uh, is equal to the risk-free rate plus um, the difference between the expected market return minus uh, the uh, risk-free rate multiplied by the beta of the security. Okay, to put it in formula terms, the return of a security is equal to uh, the risk-free rate plus the beta of security, open brackets, um, expected market return minus risk-free return rate, close bracket. Okay, how you find the beta is uh, you determine uh, through through probably past what you call uh, past data itself uh. so what it tells you is that if uh, whatever you calculate the C the CAPM and if you find that the the market return uh, is less than the CAPM then um, then maybe you shouldn't buy it uh. but if the market return is is greater than the CAPM uh, Right, uh, then perhaps you should consider that. All right. Um, if you are not sure what I'm talking about, just go and read Investopedia. It's a it's a pretty good book. Uh, pretty good website. Sorry. See you next time. Boom.